Alright, how are you guys doing? This is going to be a guide on the Memoriam Crystals. You obtain them throughout Fate of the Gods. And you need this to get the cosmetic override I'm wearing right now on my head. And also a tiara, but uh, it's not the greatest. If you guys want to know what it looks like, I'll show you here in a second. So you're going to go ahead and go to your head items. When you go to your cosmetic override, let me go ahead and find it, right? And we're basically doing all this work for a comp cape requirement. So people can get their comp capes back, trimmed capes back. And also for a two cosmetic override to this and the Helmozaros. Now I don't see too many people uh, getting it for the Crest of Siren. Look at that. Look at that pot tab, dude. Oh my god, my potions tab. I love it. I worked on it last night. How do you guys like it? Uh, so basically, there's not going to be really any fighting involved. You just want to fill your entire inventory with food if you're just going there to strictly find the Memoriam Crystals. And, you know, get a Pakyak or a Tortoise or a Terrible. Terry Bird, anything that stores food and just store all that with food. It's going to be a lot easier if you've done the quest already. So, if you've done the quest, you know that you have two teleports on your 6 day circuit. Now, if you don't know how to activate that, you go to the Guthic Shrine, right? I'm not going to do it right now because I just don't feel like it. But you go to the Guthic Shrine, and then you talk to the guy that's in front of the altar, the dude that gives you the gifts and the rewards for completing uh, the World Wakes. Uh, and you tell them that you want to be teleported to the main chamber and then once you're teleported to the main chamber you then have the world gate unlocked as your teleport on the gothic shrine I mean on the six day circuit so we're going to teleport to the world gate this uh, this ring is really crucial for finding it's going to make everything a lot faster and I'll show you how Alright guys, we're here at the Elder Halls. Once you're here, run just a little bit east. And you're going to want to run into the little hall that has the white crystals in front of it. Keep going. And on the right edge, on the right side of the wall, you're going to see the Memoriam Crystal right here. That's the first one. And that's the only one in this room, I believe so. Uh, go to the second location. Now, you're going to want to teleport out and go to the World Gate. This is why you need the ring, so it's a lot faster. Okay, perfect. A lot of people don't know where uh, the 3 OZ, I think it's called 3Z, I don't know what it's called, but this crystal, a lot of people seem to not know where it's at. But after the quest, it's just going to be by your hand. Alright, on to the third location, the pit. Alright, okay, I know where this is. Do Whatever you do, don't step into the middle, unless you want to die, and <laughs> don't step into the middle of the pit. It's right here. The Memoriam Crystal. You got to run all the way north. When you enter the, um... What is it the what is this the pit right this is the pit you run all the way north and then you examine the crystal right here that's the only one in the pit it's the only one so now we're gonna go to the sanctum all right so here we go into the sanctum actually there's actually probably just one in this room I I don't think there's two uh, here's the crystal right here you run all the way north to where the wall was where you had to enter to go to um can't remember the pit I think that's the pit right there. There's your fourth crystal. Uh, I believe there is no other crystal in this room. I think that's the fourth crystal and the only crystal in this room. Alright guys, so this is the most dangerous part and you can die. It's definitely a possibility, especially towards the end. So you're going to want to go to the approach. And this is probably going to be the most difficult to cover of the guide. Here we go. This is uh this is the approach and this is where you're going to get majority of your crystals at and this is where you're going to need your food cuz you're definitely going to have to spam me at one time at one part. So we're going to have to run I'm pretty sure there's a crystal down here. All right. So from the portal you run a little bit north, northwest. You just say go west and then north and then you'll find a crystal right here. So there's your first crystal in there and the closest I believe when entering the approach. Now the next one, let's do it. You guys ready? The next one, you gotta jump from ledge. You have to do that to get across to the next platform. Jump again. All right, so you're gonna see a gate. 
Either way, there's going to be a crystal from both paths, I believe, if I remember this correctly. But we're going to go right real quick. And we're going to climb up this cliff side right here. And we're going to run north, east, and here's another crystal right here, right? So there's your crystal right there. That's the second one. That's our second one, right? Our third crystal is going to be down here. It's kind of hard to see, but here's your third crystal, your memoriam. Now, don't worry if you guys are wondering how I got the third key. Rewind the video or just watch here where I was going to get the second key. Now, if you keep running north after getting the second key and then run east a little bit, you can climb down the ledge. And you'll see on the map there's going to be like a little red dot where you can climb down at. And that's where you go to the third location to get your key. It's uh, That's pretty much it. Alright, so since we got the third crystal, we do not have to retrace our steps at all. Up here, there's nothing up here except the crystal we already got, which is right there if you can see. And this is just another way to get this crystal right here. This is all the same, so we're moving on, alright? Just, just to let you guys know. Plus, this is a safe spot, obviously, in case you need to heal. Alright, so ignore everything that's to your left because there's nothing there and you can't do anything about it. Alright, you're going to get struck by lightning, but that's okay. Now just go down this drop right here. And you're going to find another crystal right here. This is the fourth, I believe. Again, we're going to repeat the process since we got our fourth crystal. I believe all total that's eight. I think you need ten all together, right? All right, so we're going to go get struck by lightning again. Probably it's a possibility. All right, dodge that bullet. Run all the way north. Wall run all the way across. Drop down. Alright, so now that we drop down, we're going to run north, and there's going to be the ninth crystal, right? Or the tenth, ninth, I don't know, I think we're at nine, <laughs> my bad guys, I'm sorry, I am so sorry, but it's uh, kind of stressful doing this, not really, not really at all, alright, so slide down this slope right here, you're going to run south from where you just got the crystal. And you're going to see these two try to make it with the timing like I just did, like a like a boss. If you need to regenerate, regenerate right here. Alright, so pretty close to the end, not quite. Ignore everything over here. There is nothing over here. Nothing at all. Nothing. So that's the 10th, right? This is the 10th crystal. So there's nothing on this side. You see all this? This is nothing. I've checked before. There's nothing there. Just get this crystal right here. Keep going south. Run east. And come up through here. Walk across this rock formation. That back entrance we just saw before we came up here, I'll tell you what that is in a second, but you want to save that for last. I want to run all the way east. This part can really mess you up, but I'm just running through it. Oh, I actually made it through. There we go, like a boss. Climb down this drop right here. Keep running east. And you see this little pathway that goes behind the strip right here? Run all the way down this pathway. There we go, that's the other key. 11th, 12th, I don't know anymore. <laughs> so many keys.
Now you're gonna wanna walk across this rock bridge right here. Don't go in the opening, just keep running south. Squeeze through this crevice. And this is your last key, I believe. This is, this is your last key. Hope I didn't miss any. There is more, honestly. But uh, we pretty much got all the dark crystals or whatever you want to call it. You have to get um, these four final crystals. And I'll tell you how to get there, alright? So don't worry. This is the most important part and the most annoying. And this is where your food matters the most. So we're going to um, retrace our steps. Walk across the platform. Keep running. Um, you want to run west, south, and then west again. Climb the rock formation. Run south. Make sure not to get trapped by these. Run west until you get to this broken platform again. Uh, walk across the rock formation. Climb cliffside back down. Run a little bit south and all the way east. Alright, you're going to be right here at a rock bridge. You cross that. Now, this is what needs to be explained right now. You see these four crystals sticking out of the ground. Well, they all relate to these four crystals that are going to be in this area right here. There's going to be four sticking up if you can see the holes. You're going to need to tag these a total of 80 times, 20 per crystal. You need four crystals, so 20 times four is 80. So you're gonna have to tag these 80 times. And if you die within tagging these 80 times, <laughs> trying to tag them 80 times, you have to start over. At least I did. So if you can, at least every 20 you tag, grab the crystal, so you don't have to do it again when you die. Um, you will have to start over the process. However, you will have the crystals in your inventory. You won't have to worry about getting them again so every every wave every wave the lightning gets more intense and strikes you down I'll probably be showing you some footage that of me doing it if I can find it so just be sure to have a lot of food and be able to uh, just spam me whenever and make sure to hit the, not hit the lightning as frequently like do not tr just ignore the lightning try to ignore the lightning try to ignore the geysers ignore the geysers <laughs> And you'll be good, and you'll get your four crystals, and I believe that is all that you need. If I missed one, then I am terribly sorry, but for the most part, I don't think I missed any of them at all. I hope not, at least. I hope this guide helped you, and um, I'll see you guys next time.